Hello, it's Fabio Maspina with the Project New Waters, the Willoughby chapter. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a pattern uh, from Dave Pinchowski. It's called Eat a Peach Leech. Um, you can use this fly to target uh, smallmouth and stillhead here in, um, in the Great Lakes. Um, you can uh, strip this fly and you can swing this fly. So uh, let's see how to tie it. So we're going to get started. We're going to tie this fly on a size uh, 4. This is a Daiichi 2461 hook. Uh, you could also use a size 2. So I put the hook in the in the vise. I'm going to use a, a, a 6 0 black thread. So I'm going to put a base of thread um, on the hook shank. And I'm going to cut the uh, excess of this thread uh, off right now here. Then I'm going to get some extra select uh, craft for. This is black. Um, you know you can find this at the uh, at your local flying tying store. Um, you may be able to find some of this at the uh, uh, craft store as well. So I'm going to get um, I'm going to cut some off of the. Um, here I'm going to tie some um, here on the on the back of the hook here right there so we have a little tail I'm going to cut this excess here okay I'm going to get some more more I'm going to get some more. Make sure it's about the same length. And again, I'm going to secure that. I'm going to cut uh, the excess off here. And now I'm going to get, um, you know, fundamentally what I'll be tying is, you know, a bunch of craft fur. Some is going to be, um, you know, tie like this one and some is going to be reverse tied and then I'm going to, we're going to put some flash I'm going to start with uh, some copper uh, flashable this is copper again and I'm going to get I don't know seven eight strands I'm going to lay them over the uh, craft for Secure it with a couple of wraps and then I'm going to fold it over like so. Um, I'm going to get some uh, dark green, flashable again. Dark green. I'm going to put a few more strands. Again, I'm going to lay them on top, secure with a couple of wraps, and then fold it back. Like so. Alrighty, so now I'm going to get some more craft for her. And we're gonna, so we, you know, we did the tail, and we're going to start working on... Um, um, building a body for the fly. So now I got some craft for and now I'm going to uh, tie this um, reverse tight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna push the ends towards the um, hook point. Then I'm gonna secure it with a couple of wraps. And then I'm gonna push back the craft for be careful with that hook poke myself there again so now you get the gist of it and I'm going to put some more uh, flash uh, this time I want to put um, 
a mix of flesh. It's got different colors. It's got blue, um, silver, gold, red. I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to put some on the side. So I'm going to secure some of this on the side. So um, flash as a life of itself. So it tends to uh, not behave correctly. So, but you no. Know, and then, then I, I'm going to pull this. I'm going to fold it on the other side. So then I'll at the end I'll I'll cut the uh, the flashable. Okay, I'm gonna get some more um, craft fur. I'm gonna get uh, a little more uh, from a quantity perspective as we get closer to the head of the fly we want to we want that body to be a little thicker so again i'm going to um, reverse tie it i'm going to slide this over the hook shank and then i'm i'm going to secure it with a couple of wraps always pull it back I'm going to thunk it a little so you see how that craft for um, open opens wide and so that's going to have but um, um, be um, spread more neatly around the uh, hook shank. I'm going to add some more flash. I'm going to add some purple. Add some purple right here. You know, usually purple, copper, um, those are my preferred colors. Again, we're going to lay them on top. couple of wraps and then I'm going to uh, fold it on the other side. I'm going to tank it again so that craft four uh, spreads around. Actually I'm going to cut this fleshable here. Like that. Okay so now I'm going to get um, one more chunk of craft for again I'm gonna try to get um, a little more I'm gonna put it in my other end and now again I'm gonna slide it over the hook shank make a couple wraps I always say a couple but I make like three or four and then again, I'm going to um, push this craft four back. You can use a toothbrush, like I'm doing here, right here, to brush it back. And I put a, a thread. Um, Bump in front of it so that keeps that um, keeps that um, craft for um, you know leaning back. Alrighty, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, some um, fusion dub. This is the Eda Peach color that is uh, intentionally uh, made for this fly. So I'm gonna get a 
a clamp of it. Like about, about that so. And then I'm going to push it again over the hook shank. And then I'm going to wrap around it like so. And then I'm going to um, again push all the uh, the dub backwards like so. And then when I use my brush, my I'm um, sorry, my toothbrush um, to uh, blend that that ice dub um, back. And, and mix it within the um, the craft for. So now I'm ready to get my um, wood finisher and um, do the head. So I'm going to cut this thread off and uh, so there you have it, eat a peach. So you can see how it looks from the front. I'm going to put it back in the vise and again I'm going to get my brush and give it a brush so that um, make sure that you this allow you to collect any loose uh, fibers of the um, craft fur and also bl allows to for all the colors to blend in and there you have it the Ida peach leech uh, I hope, hope you enjoyed the video bye